Hello and a warm welcome to TCR Asia. Round six from the Zhuhai International Circuit in southern China. Jonathan Green reporting. And this is the fourth race held here at the Zhuhai Circuit. Plenty of drama so far. Inclement April showers on into May. Some great racing throughout. And a wide open championship coming towards the halfway point. Five different winners from five races. Frustration for some, elation for others. And a look at the championship going into round six. Diego Moran, who continues to lead. The Ecuadorian in his first year has 89 points over WS Lai with 81. Kurosai has 77 points. Abdul Katir, 75. And Jasper Thong in fifth place overall with 70. But it was Sean Thong, his brother, in his debut, making the news in round five. Ending up in the gravel. First of all, I got a bad start, so that's my own mistake. I try not to get too much wheel spin and I nearly stalled. So I think it's actually a good recover to say P4, then I slowly make my way up. I overtook the, uh, the first Honda quite early on. Then, yeah, for some reason, my brother went into the pits for a drive through penalty, which I got no idea. And so I'm in second, then I start pushing and actually I made up all the gap. And yeah, I think I got a better pace, but I was trying to be really patient and try to give him a last big pressure in the last lap. Yeah, and I think I got a better exit on turn seven. And uh, we left enough space for each other going into the corner. But then when I'm on the outside, I got a big bang from the side door and ended up in the gravel. And he continued, but I'm happy about the race pace. And I think there's even more to go in race two. You were very emotional afterwards. There's a lot of uh, camera shots of uh, you venting your spleen, but that's just part of the emotion of racing. Uh, yeah, I think everyone gets a bit angry when they are in the lead, and you know there's only a few corners left to bring the checker flag home. Uh, yeah, but that's racing. You know, that's accident, and people get emotions. But now race one is over, and yeah, let's concentrate on race two. Are you surprised at your performance, uh, given that this is your debut in the car? You only jumped in it for the first time late this week, and uh, you're right at the front of this field. Uh, yeah, I need to say I'm happy about my performance, because it's my first time in the RS3 LMS. And I think on Thursday and Friday, uh, both me and my, and my brother showed promising pace from the car. So we are not surprised we'll be fighting for the win uh, when it's dry. But in the wet, we're struggling with some gearbox issues. So I'm really lucky it's dry today. So I think in the race, too, if my car gets fixed, I think we are game on. You've done a lot of experience. I had a lot of experience in a uh, naturally aspirated V10 rear wheel drive. You're in a twin, oh, sorry, turbo two liter front wheel drive. What's the big difference? What, what's been the toughest thing to get used to for CCR? I think it's the same, it's four wheels, right? <laughs> four wheels and four tyres, but yeah, I think with the TCR car, you need to be more patient because you get less power and also it's a front wheel drive car, so you need to adapt the driving style, especially for the front wheel drive because you can overdrive the car easily and you can overdone the front tyres, which I think most of the cars are doing because I'm actually really relaxed behind the wheel, so I think that's how you maintain a good pace in the car. Now, another team looking for good pace in round six is the Viper Nisa Racing Team. Of Douglas Koo and Bill O'Brien. Good friends off track. They're still learning their way, but this is going to be a big challenge in round six because of the reverse grid after qualifying. These two start first and second on the grid for round six. I started out uh, racing about four years ago, doing classic cars uh, in Sepang. And after doing two years of classic cars, I uh, decided that, yeah, it's, it's uh, not that much of a challenge. Uh, so Nico and I, uh, Nico who runs uh, Niza Racing, and I decided that we should actually try and do another series in Asia. And we looked at all the available series uh, and looked at, looking at my capabilities as well. So we decided that uh, TCR would be actually a good uh, entry point for me. So we started about yeah, two and a half years ago. We started in the first race in Buridan, Thailand. Uh, and that was a bit interesting because never drove, driven a, a front wheel drive before. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of things to learn, new tracks, uh, new cars to learn, and obviously you know, trying to manage the team as well is uh, difficult. But you know, four years later, we're here. Uh, this is our third year in uh, TCR Asia, uh, and we're enjoying it. So with just four years of racing, the key now for Douglas is to race as much as possible. For me, uh, it'll be more just 
basically more seat time. So I don't have enough seat time. Uh, and because my racing career is so short, so every time I get a chance to practice, to race a car, then I'll actually sort of use, utilize that, uh, that opportunity. But it's basically just getting seat time. So not just seat time in this car, but seat time in any race car, in, in any track. Every time I race, I will try and do my best. Uh, sometimes I go off the track a bit too often, but uh, if, they, like say, if you don't go off the track, you're not trying hard enough. Racing drivers across the world always talk about finding the limits and then pushing a little harder. There's no question, the TCR Asia series, very professional, but it gives the perfect opportunity for the likes of Douglas Koo. It's, it's good close racing. Uh, again, the circuits that we go to last year was interesting. Last year, I got the opportunity to, opportunity to race in uh, Singapore F1 and the Malaysian F1 as well, so that was great. Hopefully, we'll be able to sort of get into other countries and race a bit more often. And the key for both Bill O'Brien and Douglas Koo as they progress in their careers is the trust they have in their Viper Nisa racing team. So far, I've been very happy with the boys' uh, performance. Uh, they've set up the car. Every time I get into an accident, you know, they work overnight and they prepare the car next day and I got to get to race again. And with more experience, comes more ambition. Last year, I was first run-up in the amateur category. Uh, this year, I think I've got a bit more competition uh, in the amateur category. Uh, I don't know, uh, top three would be nice. I think that's the aim for this year. His teammate, Bill O'Brien, is one of the characters of the paddock. The American, now living in Hong Kong, is also learning his way in the black arts of racing. Well, you know, the cars are excellent. I mean, they're a lot of fun to drive. I didn't do a very good job last year, you know, so I wanted to improve at least a little bit. And I think also, you know, uh, uh, Niza gave me a, uh, a good car for this race. So uh, that's why I've joined. It's a lot of fun. I like the series. Uh, it's close competition, and the cars are great. The cars are wonderful to drive. As an accomplished businessman, but an amateur driver, the key for O'Brien is finding the right environment. Which he thinks he's back. Viper uh, put together a good car. Uh, uh, just over the past two days, they've given me really great support. So uh, it was a. It was a good choice. I mean, Douglas is a good friend of mine. Nico is a good friend of mine. Uh, last year, Douglas and I had a little competition going. We bang into each other every once in a while. So this year, we're on the same team. So we'll work together. One thing's for sure, O'Brien and his teammate, Douglas Coop, are enjoying every minute. My target for this weekend is just to finish qualifying in the top eight, you know, have some fun. Maybe it rains, it'll be good if it rains for me. Uh, you know, I like this, this track uh, when it's wet. So let's see what happens. Well, the expression, careful what you wish for, springs to mind. Thanks to William O'Brien's comments. Sure enough, there he is on the front row, and it's drizzling. It's qualifying time at 233.7 for the Viper. Nisa Racing Team. And there you can see the spots of rain as we look between the tyres. There are the wet weather tyres. Douglas Koo is on slicks, as are all the drivers at the moment. It remains to be seen whether anybody will take a gamble, maybe in the hope that it will continue to rain and go on wet. Certainly no change so far for Jasper Thong in the Audi Hong Kong. Audi RS3 LMS TCR, winner of round three. His brother, Sean, racing this weekend, crashed out in round five and ended up in the gravel. But as you can see, here he is on the grid. The GT man, well, that's what his usual job is. He does the Audi R8 Cup and he's just racing recently in Beijing, in GT China. And at 21, already a very accomplished driver of the Asian region. VW and the champions, the Liquid Molly Ensler team with Diego Moran of Ecuador, leading the championship, but only by a slight margin at the moment. An important race, this one for Diego. Had problems in setup and braking throughout the weekend. And as for Wee Sing Lai of our engineering, the Honda Civic man, 
very confident after round five. A great result for him, finishing behind his teammate Abdul Qatir. So we have a slight delay, officially a wet race, and that may give time now for, and I can see, yes, tyres coming out quickly for the teams to change minds and go on wets. Now, who's going to take that gamble? Slick staying on on most of the cars. The cars at the back, I'm thinking maybe of Tin Shi Tri, who will start right at the back, may take a gamble and go on the wets in the hope that it gets wetter because really no one seemingly 100% sure. A rather concerned looking Kurt Tremel, the team principal of the Liquid Molly Ensler team as we head off on this sighting lap. And you can see the drizzle continuing and everybody just checking out the conditions. There is Tin at the back. Has he gone to full wets, I wonder? And as you can see, the wind still quite strong. And that means here, just on the Pearl River estuary on the South China Sea, things could change quite quickly. And that could change for the worse or it could blow through. So it's a big decision. And I can see several of the drivers coming in to the pit lane, including the championship leader, Diego Moran, and several drivers coming in already to change tires. So Kurt Trammell and his team deciding that it is too wet and they're gonna go on full wets. Sean Thong also coming in for wets. Douglas Koo doing the same, and that's a front row start for Douglas. And that means that William O'Brien will start on slicks. And he will lead the field for this now very wet race here for round six at Zuhai. You can see atrocious conditions now and the lights go out. We're racing and O'Brien is definitely on slicks. And there'll be others in the group that are as well. Several drivers coming out of the pit lane will try to join the race as quickly as possible from the pit lane. And we are racing here at Zuhai for round six. And William O'Brien leads the way, the Hong Kong driver in very slippery conditions. Out of the pits comes Kantari Kasuri for the Ensler team on full wets. Lai goes to the outside. Abdul Qatir on the inside trying to get third place there, but be careful, the teammates almost coming together there. Very tough conditions. Look at the spray being thrown up for those in the midfield, chasing William O'Brien. Oh no, and Jasper Thong gets completely sideways in the Audi. And now Lai, Weising Lai trying to see if he can muscle his way past. And again, little tap on the back there from Lai and almost turns round the Audi. And this is a dramatic opening stint to this race. Conditions change very quickly. We had a quick delay of the start procedure and O'Brien's off. Bill O'Brien is off the leader into the gravel and beaches it. And that means that Thong leads. Oh, and he's gone wide and he's lost the lead already. Well, that was a short lead for just one corner there as we sing live. A Malaysian in the Honda picks up the lead. Abdul Qatir looking up the inside, taps the back again. And look at this sandwich, a say it on the outside. Honda on the inside and the Audi in the middle. Meanwhile, the Honda Civic of Lai getting away at the front. What a start by the Malaysian. And a dramatic start all round. Diego Moran at the back of this group. Kasuri has just got back out, but look at the elegant boys. They're coming through quickly in the Seats. And that's uh, Liu and Eric Kay, Eric Kwong. And they are scything their way on wet tires from the start, remember, they changed on the grid before the sighting lap. And as you can see, Eric Kay up to third position and his teammate in fifth, Alex Liu, the Macau driver. And there you saw the number 98, Eric Kwong, as Bill O'Brien just constantly leaves his car as the field come flying by that position one more time. And Lai leads this race. Up to second now is Liu going very wide there, but gathering it together. But Alex Liu is on the charge now, and he's all over the back of WS Lai. Meanwhile, Eric Kay still battling with Dong. Here comes the number 99. And Liu, all oh, taps his way past Lai. A little love tap there. But no love lost between those two, I'm sure. And that was a muscle move by 
Alex Liu to take the lead here in the wet in Zhuhai, round six of TCR Asia. Dramatic start, and it's Liu in the Seat from the Honda, and then the other Seat, number 98 of Eric K. There's O'Brien's car, who led early on. She tried, Tin Street tried, trying to get on level turns. The man who won round four. And here's another look at that overtake. Well, a little bit tough, perhaps, but uh, maybe under braking, the car just swayed to the left, and he could do nothing about it. And now Eric K wants a crack at it, too. Number 39, Lai, leaving him plenty of room down the main straight. They cross the line now. Conditions not getting any better at the moment. And it's Eric K, Lai, Liu, and Katia. And Liu dropping back to third place. Jasper Thong still fifth. And at the moment, Tin Sri Tri is sixth. And we're going to keep an eye on those on the wet weather tyres including the elegant boys now leading this race to see how far they can pull away from those struggling on the dry tyres. And Tinsley Dry is out again. Oh, such an awful weekend for Tinsley Dry. The winner of round four in Zuhai and nowhere here this weekend in round five and round six. And just spun it round and just got stuck in the gravel. What a shame and his team watch on. And into the pits comes Jasper Thong, who will change, I'm sure, to wet weather tyres. His brother Sean has already done so. And sure enough, they're ready to go. Elegant Racing, meanwhile, are crossing their fingers. Because as you can see, Eric Kay and Alex Liu have built a three-second lead between each other, and then they've got some six seconds Ahead of Lai in third position. So the elegant racing team, the Seat pair, are pulling away on the wet weather tyre. Sean Thong pushing hard on Abdul Katia. He too struggling for grip. And he's on wet weather tyres, remember, so it's still not easy out there. And Abdul Katia, winner of round five, is determined to hold off the professional driver. Remember, cup driver versus professional. Sean Thong may be only 21, but uh, He's the professional, Abdul Katia is in the cup competition and leading that championship for the amateurs at the moment. Here comes Thong, this is his textbook overtake down to one, but he goes to the outside. Surely not a way to get round, but uh, Katia will defend in the Honda and does so. Nicely done, but goes wide. Oh no, into the gravel. Keep your foot in, son. And he does so. Abdul Katia gets out Fox there at turn one, but keeps his foot in and keeps on track and in the race. Here's another look at it. Sean Thong jigged to the outside and Katia thought he was defending the inside and then forgot to break or didn't break till very late and just ran out of road quite simply. Meanwhile, Lai still under pressure from Sean Thong as he goes past Douglas Koo. So, Douglas Kuhn pushing hard on as he can in these conditions. Um, but he's no match for Sean Thong. A bit more experience there. Meanwhile, WS Lai has bags of touring car experience. He may be new to TCR, but uh, certainly raced touring cars in the wet before. He knows exactly how to deal with the conditions. And. Well, Sean Thong flashing the lights, trying to intimidate Lai ahead of him. Lap times closer to two minutes than the faster time. 1.45 in the dry, 1.50 in damp conditions. And they're still slower than that at the moment. WS Lai doing a very good job. Now remember, these two came together in round five, costing Sean Thong a finish and possibly his first win in TCR in his debut outing. And of course, being an Audi Hong Kong driver, Audi Hong Kong, he really wanted to impress here and effectively their home track. But it wasn't to be. And now he looks to try to get on the podium because I think catching the two elegant racing boys is going to be nigh on impossible. With those wet weather tyres, they've got a massive lead, which is going to be hard to catch. 
Here comes Sean Thong, he's got good drive now as they head towards the next left-hander. He's lining himself up for an overtake on Lai to go into third place, and he makes it stick. Nicely done by Sean Thong in the Audi. And there was really nothing the Honda driver could do there. He had to let him through. In the background is Moran, as Jasper Thong, who had just come out, has parked it like his brother did in the previous race. Well, what a topsy-turvy weekend it's turning out for the Thong brothers. 17-year-old Jasper Thong does not finish round six and his brother couldn't complete round five. Meanwhile, at the front, Eric Kwong leads by six seconds over his teammate at Elegant Racing, Alex Liu of Macau. But they have a massive lead over Sean Thong in third place now, who got ahead of live. They are some 17 seconds down on the leaders. Douglas Koo could get his best result of the season, if not his career in TCR. He's currently in fifth position at the moment. And looking for a big result from this. As you heard in the interview earlier, he's only been racing four years, three years really, in this high level racing. Before that, he was doing classic racing. And now the R Engineering man, a 202.7, is on the pace for sure. And there's Diego Moran. Can he hold on to his championship lead? Not if he can't get past this man. Because Lai finishes here, could get ahead of Diego Moran. So they're going to be battling it out for the championship lead as they are battling it out on track right now. On board with the Ecuadorian how many times he's raced in these sorts of conditions. Well, doesn't seem to be slowing him down. Through goes Moran on the number 39. Nicely done by the Liquid Molly Ensler man. And the timing couldn't be better as he goes through the closing stages of round six. And here comes the elegant racing man, number 98, Eric Kwong. And he'll see the chequered flag this time, and Sayak will win the sixth different winner from six rounds of racing in 2017. TCR Asia is having a classic year and a fairy tale weekend for Elegant Racing. A 1 2 for them, having made the strategic choice of changing tyres on the grid when the delay was announced. They struck, got ahead while everybody else had to come into the pits to change tyres. That was the right move and it certainly paid off for them. Confirmation of the result then. Eric Kay gets his first win, the Hong Kong driver. And Macau's Alex Liu, his teammate, taking second. WF Tong, Sean Thong in third, then Lai fourth. Douglas Koo takes fifth place, Suri takes sixth. Congratulations to Douglas Koo, his best result, but also Eric Kwong, a great result for him. And with six rounds gone, the championship is wide open. Well, I should thanks for the team made a right decision for me and um, uh, for our team. And well, at the beginning there was a little rain, light rain, and um, we didn't think that it would be going to be big. But um, since there is a wet track, sign was out, and um, they made a decision to just switch the tire to wet tire instead of dry. Um, while all the others are having dry tires, so we took a little bit of gambling. But we did it, and um, we just do what we should do on the track, keep the car on the course, and finish the race. Uh, I, I am very happy, and, and first I thank you, my team, uh, give me a uh, correct uh, decision, uh, choice the wet tie to, to race, because this last minute, uh, the rain uh, may be dry, may be rain, but uh, my team very fast, wet tie give me to waste so I I uh, I went happy and thank you my team manager and every, everything first of all I need to thank you uh, Audi Hong Kong and Phoenix Race Phoenix Racing Asia giving me the opportunity to compete in TCR Asia so yeah thank you them and I think it's also a really valuable experience that I get in my pocket especially in this condition where it started off dry then it keeps raining, so it's a really, it's really a trick for drivers to get, get, get their mind quick, you know, whether to go slicks or wet. So I think I learned something. I lose, but I learn it. And a look at the overall championship after six rounds, getting to the halfway point. WS Lai now leads for Malaysia with 93 points 
Diego Moran of Ecuador, second with 89. Vasuri of Thailand is third with 85 points, ahead of Abdul Qatir of Malaysia in fourth place. Congratulations to our sixth winner in as many races. What a season 2017 is turning out to be. Great competition in the overall and in the cup competition. Abdul Qatir leading the way there. And that effectively means that our engineering and Honda lead both championships. Turning out to be a massive year for touring cars for Honda. But next time out, it's an even bigger challenge at the beginning of July as we head to Bangsan Street Circuit in Thailand. From me, Jonathan Green, until then, bye-bye for now.